I'm happy and finally glad to see the back of the 13 inch touch bar MacBook Pro. That being said, something about the base model M3 14 inch MacBook Pro feels like a trap. And I've got five reasons and then some to explain why I feel this way. Let's cut straight to the chase without burying the lead. The obvious thing that is missing on the base model M3 14 inch MacBook Pro that Apple clearly didn't want you to see is the missing USB-C port on the right side, which would usually sit in between the HDMI and SD card slot. One side of me fully understands why Apple did it and the other side feels like, damn, this is a shame that this is what they had to resort to doing. Keeping both the USB-C ports on the left side makes a lot of sense as a lot of MacBook dock accessories like the Evanki dock I have here that I use on a regular basis, use both USB-C ports at the same time to fully function and give you all the features you need. Which means if they actually split the USB-C ports one side each on both sides, it would have caused issues with compatible accessories that use both the USB-C ports on the left side. That being said, if you like and are used to the added benefit of having an additional USB-C port on the right side for charging, data transfer and more, then this base model M3 is not for you. Let's talk about another limitation with those two remaining USB-C ports. Although they are still USB 4 Type-C ports, they are no longer Thunderbolt 4 compliant and are limited to Thunderbolt 3. Don't be fooled. Yes, Thunderbolt 4 and Thunderbolt 3 both have the same 40 gigabits per second bandwidth spec. Remember, this is a theoretical speed rating and the benefit of Thunderbolt 4 is that you get access to more of it and that in turn means better expandability with less limitations. Again, I can understand why Apple did it from a cost point of view. It still opens up another limitation, which makes it a no-go for my use case. The base model M3 only supports one external display output. Trust me, you did not hear me wrong because a laptop this expensive to only support one external display makes no sense to me. Now, I will say this, I'm glad they didn't limit the HDMI port to 4K60, which after digging further, does state that it can do 4K 120 Hertz. What this limitation means is, if you use the HDMI port for external display output, you can't then add another display using the other USB-C ports. As someone who uses two to even four external displays at once on my M1 Max MacBook, this is a no-go. And Apple should have found a way to at least have two external display support. What's even more scary about the M3 14 inch is the fact that it starts with only eight gigabytes of RAM. Sorry, but this just cannot run. For all the changes made to the memory on the M3 Pro and M3 Max starting with an extra two gigabytes or four gigabytes of RAM for the Pro and the Max, at least, at the very least, this should have started with 10 gigabytes of RAM or even 12 or 14. We still need this officially tested and confirmed with a teardown and performance testing, but it looks like Apple did at least add two NAND chips for the SSD storage. So if you run into a situation with swap memory into storage, it should perform better than the base M2 did that only had one NAND chip. Still, in this day and age, Using a laptop like this should not be coming with eight gigabytes of RAM, regardless of how efficient Apple's M-series chips are. Another reason is the price. Now look, with how Apple presented it, at first glance, it looked like the new starting price of the M3 Pro was £1,700, $1,600, and I was ready to lose it in a good way. Only to realize this is the price of the M3 model due to the fact that the 13 inch Pro with touch bar no longer exists. I don't know about you, but paying £1,700 for what is a Pro laptop, which only starts with eight gigabytes of RAM, is a trap for upselling. And by then you're paying more for a laptop where the core limitations are still the same. And unless you have a good sense of knowing that, you would have shot yourself in the foot if you spec'd out the M3 model with more RAM or storage. Another honorable mention is the new space black color, which is not available on the M3 model, regardless of whether you spec it or not. You have to get the M3 Pro or M3 Max model to have the option of space black. That's Apple gatekeeping and giving you another reason to upsell. Okay, now look, I've talked about my concerns. Let me bring and balance the scales a bit and see the good we have with the M3 MacBook Pro 14 inch where it makes sense, especially compared to the old touch bar 13 inch. First of all, the touch bar is gone. 
Good riddance, it will not be missed, and it's about time this was done. Having the same quality mini LED display in the 14 inch size with 120 Hz ProMotion is great to see and makes for a better display experience than that of the 13 inch. Having a built in UHS 2 SD card slot is something every pro laptop needs to have and was definitely a pain point on the 13 inch MacBook Pro. And of course, having a full size HDMI port at 4K 120 Hz is a great convenience, meaning you pretty much do not need a dongle unless you still need access to a USB A port. Do these things balance out the M3 14 inch MacBook Pro to make it worth it? Well, the only way it does is if you buy it as a base model and do not spec it in any way with more RAM and storage. And it's already a struggle for me to see how this base model makes sense at £1,700, $1,600. So not specking more RAM and storage is the only way it makes more sense to me in some kind of way. Personally, I say if you can find a base model M2 Pro 14 inch used or refurbished, this is the way to go. What's your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. That's it for me, Ben from Lover of Tech. If you enjoy videos like this, you know exactly what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're part of Team TLS, the Tech Lover Squad, so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. I hope you're all safe during this time. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.